Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom, and it is a cold February day. It's the middle of winter, and not much has awakened yet for spring, but you can start gardening using a cold frame. Cold frames allow you to really push seasons in either direction, and we're going to talk about those a little bit today. You can take plants which were outside last fall and store them for the winter, or you can begin to grow things like lettuce and things like that a little bit earlier than you normally would. Let's take a look. This is a super duper cold frame. This is probably one which is out of the reach of most of you in terms of home ownership to build one of these on your own property. We've got some major, major plants stored in here. You can see there's tons of plants down in here. There's actually stairs. This cold frame is eight and a half, nine feet deep. A lot of tropicals down in here. This is a zone six. We've got plants which are zone 10, 11. This is an epiphytic rhododendron. This would be seen in New Guinea or New Zealand. And here it is in Massachusetts, but it's in this cold frame. Below zero out there, warm enough for this guy in here. What's important when you build one of these is to have wonderful drainage. The floor should have some gravel down here. In this particular one, we have shelves. And also, you have greenhouse plastic up here. It's two pieces with a little bit of air in between, which allows the light to filter in, but also keeps the heat in as well. This particular homeowner has a light, which she leaves on all winter, and that adds a little bit of heat as well. So there's actually two cold frames on this property. The other one is doable. You could build one of these yourself, so we'll go take a look at that. This is the smaller cold frame. It's four feet by eight feet and it's three feet deep that might be a little deep if you want to grow vegetables because the vegetables would have to go up towards the light you'd want the soil level much closer to the top of the cold frame but this particular cold frame is more for storage we've got many plants in here which didn't get a chance to get planted last year or will be planted this spring so this is more of a storage cold frame and you could also build levels inside of this so you could have one area where you're growing things and other areas where you're storing notice there's some gravel down here at the base that's wonderful for drainage. I recommend that you face this off towards the south. The sun's right there. That will enable it to get the most sunshine. And then again, you can build this out of wood. Or if you don't want to go through all of the construction yourself, you can actually order a cold frame online. Just measure an area. Be sure that you have a well-drained area where you have a clear view of the southern sky and your cold frame will be good to go. So cold frames are a great way to extend the season, actually 12 months a year. Come back every week for all of our tips, hints, and helps at Growing Wisdom.